up woodlanders welcome to part three of our outdoor kitchen project in this one we're raising both of the frames and getting the knee braces fitted One of the first jobs I've got to do is to strip this sweet chestnut pole for the ridge pole. I keep looking at these beams that are all black and so I've decided that I want to strip them back. So I just used my draw knife just to strip back a little bit to bring up the colour again. I must admit it does look a lot better now it's done.
So what I do with these tenons is do an offset hole and a tapered peg and then that will pull that in tight to pull the joint in tight and then there's no need to put wedges in the end of these pegs then because the offset nature of the hole holds it all in place nice and tight. just done a freehand scribe ideally this would have been a uh, slap bang in the middle of that previous ridge pole only somewhere my calculations weren't quite right and what it meant is that frames offset slightly and I couldn't shove it any further to the left hoping that the ridge pole will sit in that scribe and bring the center line of the roof back on somewhere near center
So I've got to admit, putting in knee braces is a bit of a nemesis and I've never had it properly explained to me because roundwood is so much different because you can't mark it properly. So normally you would have mortise and tenon on here and that'd be notched out, maybe invisible tenon through there, you see. I did it on the one up the woodland and well, I could live with it. Anyway, this chap called Chris Harbour, he's a YouTuber, bit of an off-gridder, and this is the way he does it. So what he does, he, he marks this out first, does like an acute angle there and there, cuts that in at, at 90, there and there, and then sort of just keeps nibbling away at things till it knocks in. Now, you might be able to see that it's not perfect there, and it's not perfect there, look. But what he then does is put some mechanical fixing in, so a big long screw all the way up there and that holds it in tight and he says and he's got turf roofs on his place and he says it's absolutely fine now so I'm going to go with the same thing because that's within my skill set and it's also within my time frame so I'm going to go and get mechanical fixing but what I think I'll do is if it works put a uh, one inch hole in there and put a dowel in one of those oak pegs and disguise the mechanical joint so that it makes it look like I've not cheated, but you'll know. First job this morning is to finish off the two wind braces, knee braces, wind braces, don't we call them? Wind braces in there, one in there, one in there. I watched another one of Chris Harbour's videos again the other day and he detailed the proper way of doing it with jigs and um, mortise and tenons on the knee braces. Uh, and he was very good. He put together a very good video that really explained it, but it's very technical But I would like to do a proper job of it one day not on this project, but maybe on the next one I'm gonna have my drink first Is the best one so far. So again, not perhaps perfect, but that joint there, which is the important one, and that joint there, well happy with that. It's the last wind brace done, and just got to put some fixings in the bottom of that one, and we're all done for dinner.
so I'm afraid that's about all I've got time for on this episode. In the next one, we'll be looking at roof rafters, getting the battens on, and actually doing some roof tiling. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks so much for watching this one. We really do appreciate your support. We hope you like the progress that we've made so far on the kitchen project. And you're more than welcome to subscribe for lots of woodland activity, woodland craft, and general woodland goodness. And we'll see you on the next one.